guys, welcome to a brand new video. I'm here at Ronzi Golf Club. The tournament that I'm gonna be playing on Friday, it's gonna be 18 hole pro-am, so I've come in for a practice round and I wanna show you guys where I'm gonna be playing. Now, I've already hit my first tee shot. I might actually, when I finish the round, hit another tee shot off the first, only because um, there were people waiting um, and obviously wanted to get away, so didn't wanna cause a lot of fuss with the old camera, so I hit my tee shot. Very simple par four to start with. 271, simple six iron. I've left myself this 60 yard wedge shot into the green, which I've already hit. I will show you this shot right now. Basically, the focus is go around. I have played it before. Get a feel for what the greens are like, and they can be quite slippery. Maybe not this time of year, um, but I was on the putting green, and it was a bit. It was a bit. Uh, the greens are quite quick. So let's go and play. I'm going to try and video as many holes as I can in for you guys before it gets dark. And obviously, I need to get around. It's now about five o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. So less talking. Let's go and play some golf. Let's go and play some good golf. Uh, and try and see if we can grow some confidence for uh, for Friday. So I hold the putt for birdie, and I'll definitely take a three down the par four for the first on Friday. So quickly before we get into it, guys, just want to say a massive thank you. If you like these videos, if you like the vlogs, give it a thumbs up. I love making them. I think they're great for me to look back at before a tournament and even after a tournament. It'd be great for me to look back in these in a year time. So if you like them, then give it a thumbs up. And as always, give, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts, if you'd play something different and all that good stuff. So the par four next, bit longer, 400 yards up the hill. I hit driver. I was actually in a divot for my second shot, so I had to come really steep down onto it just to get some decent contact. And the greens um, here are really undulating. They're a bit slower than I think they're going to be actually on the day. I think they're going to be a lot quicker. Last time I was here, they were lightning. So I think I was a bit tentative with that putt there. But you want to be below the hole. Now, guys, just to show you that I show you all the shots in these vlogs, watch this. Oh, I don't think I've hit a shank for about three years. <laughs> and I've just gone and pulled one out right there. I had 145 yards to the flag. I've hit wedge. I think I've hit it a bit too hard. Because I was looking to, um, I think, and then that's why I've hit the shank, basically. I've just come out of the side myself. So, luckily, I didn't hit another one all round. I don't actually think, I think it was just one out of the... Uh, one out of a thousand and uh, yeah anyway we'll move on we won't talk about that shot anymore but yeah pitching mode i don't think is a club i hit nine iron here last year and it went out the back but i think that was down to adrenaline and everything else maybe the wind was a bit more with so i actually think it's definitely a good nine iron maybe a three quarter one on the day so par four here now this is obviously a very um normal par four around here you just need an iron off the tee and that's going to leave you a flick in with a wedge. It is very tight around here. You can't miss the fairway, otherwise you're pretty much chopping out or you're reloading. So it's really important, especially for me, to find the fairway, give myself a chance to be making birdie, if not saving for that par. The greens are quite generous. They are quite large. So um, again, a lot of lag putts will need, be needed. So I'll be doing a lot of practice on that. And a lot of wedge shots as well, I think are going to be needed. Putting feels a lot better though. Now I've got to let play through this hole. I've hit six on, it's about 190 to the flag. And I've literally hit that tree like plum square in the middle and it's come about 60 yards back. So I think I would have been about pin high, maybe a bit shorter, but you can now see where I am and where that tree is. And obviously these guys are letting me play through, so I tried to be as quick as possible, try and get out of their way, um, rather than faff about with my camera. So, unfortunately, another bogey on the card here. Okay, so just got through that group. You can tell I'm rushed, because obviously I'm trying to film it, I want to show you guys. And obviously it gives me a great chance to look back at it later. But I forgot to show you my first tee shot. Didn't even press record on my camera that tee shot but anyway this hole let me describe it before i show you tee shot par four downhill 450 yards so you've got to hit drive you don't have to hit driver but i don't want a four iron left into the green got to be a lot more aggressive this year i've hit two drives because obviously i didn't record the first one both of them in the middle both of them absolutely smoked so that is obviously very good news so let me just show you quickly the one that i did record and then we're going to play that shot Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
so yes, so both drive down the middle, daunting hole, they obviously go feel pressured on the day. Wind was slightly off the right, which definitely helps that draw. I can really thread it out to the right hand side. And looking, I can see both my drives, I'll show you them in a minute. Can't have more than 100 yards left to the flag with that. But obviously it's downhill, so I know I'm big, I'm not that big. Anyway, finally get through these guys so I can let them play their round. Let's go and hit this wedge shot into the green. Let's get some shots. So I definitely found around Romsey a lot of these 70 yard wedge shots. I had about 75 left of the flag here. And I think I need to do a lot of those kind of shots tomorrow. Try and ground them in because no matter if I'm hitting a four iron or a drive, I'm left with basically a 60 to 80 yard wedge shot. Nothing more, nothing less. So that's something I definitely want to practice over tomorrow. Um, and again, you saw myself leave uphill, downhill putt. Again, a bit too tentative. Definitely want to be below the flag if possible. Um, obviously want to give it a chance, especially with the chips, but don't want to leave myself too many pouts that I'm having to lag. So par 3 next, the par 3s are definitely playing long. I mean this course is relatively short, but because it's so tight it plays quite long because you're having to hit that iron or that punch shot down the middle um, just to keep yourself in play. Now I chipped this, I had about 30 yards to the flag, now it could be a putt. Let me know what you guys would do here. I think chip was right. I've had a great chip. I've hit that bank pretty much exactly how I wanted to, and it's pretty much just come up dead. Um, I felt quite happy with it, um, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. So then, I am. I think I'm only. I think I'm three over. Well, let's, if we forget the shank, I'm three over. Anyway, so hit this forearm unbelievably. Absolutely ripped it, and I'm starting to see some real strength in my game at the moment. <clears throat> left myself a lovely little wedge shot in here and unfortunately ball above my feet trying to get down off that tight live just pulled it a bit left um, but I think it took a bit of a kick right into the hole so overall in my game I'm feeling very confident at the moment feeling confident in my swing I don't think I missed a particular tee shot all day I think off the tee I think that was actually one of my strengths which in the winter that was definitely one of my weaknesses um, swing for me is looking good I know the club face is quite shut at the top, I know my hands are very far forward of the ball but that's how I can, um, I know I can trust it, especially under pressure, I know that I can't really hit it right and that just takes the whole right hand side of the golf course out for me. So wedge shot up the hill here, I think I just got it over the brow, I think it took quite a big bounce because it did get a quite a nice kick forward and then I had like a 15 foot putt for birdie which was pretty abysmal, didn't even have a look into the hole. So again, we will not uh, worry about that. Well, we will worry about that. We need to do something about that. But Tiny par three here. 95 yards downhill, downwind. Basically hit a 60 yard sandwich. And that even looked quite hot when I got over there. It was pin high. Um, so yeah, with a bit of adrenaline running, maybe a bit of nerves, I've got to be careful. I don't want to throw one out of the back because this is a good birdie opportunity um, and it can easily turn into a bogey. Luckily, well I didn't luckily, I meant for that to rattle in the hole. <clears throat> so again, another tight tee shot here. Right to left, par, th uh, par four, 380 I think off the backs. Perfect for my drive, I think I've just got to be aggressive here, hit it. If I do go in the trees, I'm just going to have to punch out. Um, but if I can get into this little shoot here, I mean I cut off a bit too much, but it leaves me about a 90, 100 yard wedge shot into the green. Um, and again, giving myself a chance for birdie and that's all I can ask for. I haven't got massive expectations for Friday. I'm not expecting to shoot 67, um, but at the same time, I definitely should be hitting the low 70s um, comfortably. I think that's a reasonable aim. I think if I shoot two over, three over, I think that's well within myself. If I go lower, then I'll be very happy. If I go higher, I will be slightly disappointed. So hit a good four iron, just caught the bunker here. I've taken an eight, I think I've gone too aggressive, and uh, yeah, just caught that lip. Had about 165 to the flag. I've then ripped pitching wedge, um, and again, striking it really well, coming straight out of the middle. Wind didn't touch it. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm ha really happy with the consistency of my ball striking at the moment. That putt again was awful. I think I'm pulling a lot of my putts. Even though I feel confident, like standing over it, I feel like I know where I can hit them. I just need to get more on the rail, I think. Tough shot here. This is one that I won't be looking forward to. It's 370, left to right, so I've got to hit a fade pretty much down that tiny little gap. 
trees everywhere. I've hit a tree with the three wheelers, bounced back out into the fairway, which I'll definitely take on the day. If I, even if I have an eight iron in here, I'll be pretty happy on the day, I think. Um, just because it's just one that I want to par and get over and done with, because it just doesn't suit my eye, it doesn't suit my shape, um, and there is a lot of trees. Only bunker shot of the day, well, greenside bunker, I should say, and it's come out pretty much perfectly. Bit of check, bit of roll, and then I did slot in the putt as well for par. Uh, only 340, and it's perfect for my, again, for my driver. Loads of room out left, can't go right, and I've pretty much hit it about 330. Um, onto the green, I had a putt here for eagle. It's just something that suits my eye. I've got loads of room out the left, so if I do hook it a bit too much, then that's fine, because I'll still just have a chip into the green. Um, pretty generous green. Now, this hole here, again, left to right, loads of trees. 270, I think actually it's, yeah, 270, I think. Three wood can be played here if you're comfortable with that fade shot. However, I am not, so it's just a forearm. Unfortunately, I pulled it a bit left. I couldn't find the ball for to save my life until actually I finished the hole. I found it on a path. So I just dropped the ball in the middle of the fairway of where I think on the Friday I'd land it and just played a wedge shot in. Unfortunately, I did then find the ball after I finished the hole. And this is probably the longest part of the day that I actually did hole. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's getting there, guys. By no means am I expecting miracles over the next couple of months. Obviously, we've got a long road ahead. However, um, there is definitely some improvement that I'm seeing. Small par 4, again, I've decided to be aggressive here. Now, it's 3.30. I've ripped driver again. I've tried. I know that I can't hit it right. I've hooked it a bit too much, um, but I think that's fine. Anything down the left-hand side, you're just chipping back on. If I'm a bit nervous or I'm trying to protect a score, I might hit four iron there. But um, we will see. Three wood, played about with it. It's 360, I think, to the flag. I definitely can hit four iron again here. Leave myself a nine iron or eight iron into the flag. I've tried to hit a fade with three wood and just double crossed it. But actually, I hit it bad enough that I had a wedge over the like these trees here. They're about 80 foot tall, maybe a bit higher. And then a sand wedge over the back of the green. And then I just had to chip back on. So... There is some scrappy stuff out there. Um, it wasn't all pretty, but there were some definite shots that I was really happy with. Um, some shots that I definitely could play a bit better, but also some that could go worse. I think the place when I played here last year, I was so nervous about the tee shots just because I had no idea where the ball was going. And um, I don't have that this year. I don't think I really hit an awful tee shot to the point that I couldn't play it. So, par five, the only par five on the golf course. 490 up the hill, I've hit a great drive, I've then hit a 7 iron because I've tried to carry that tree or get over it, it was actually enough, I've pretty much hit it straight out in the middle, absolute bullet, up the hill and it left me on the front edge of the green and then I literally could not hit this hard enough to get up the hill. So again a lot of lag parts I think on Thursday, um, I think a lot of 4 irons and long irons because I think those par 3s can punish me. But apart from that, I think I'm all right. I'm in relatively good shape. So guys, there you have it. 18 holes around Romsey. Feeling, feeling good. It's obviously not a course that's well set up for me. Kind of constricts my distance and can't take too many drivers. Um, obviously not that many par fives, but I think if I keep it in play, keep the wedge play in control, I think it's gonna be a lot of forearm practice tomorrow. Um, and then also a lot of wedge play as well. Putting, I don't think the green's going to be this slow on the day. It's definitely going to be a lot quicker, so I'm going to bear that in mind. I do feel like the putting is a lot better. just couldn't get it to the hole today. Um, guys, wish me luck for Friday. I will try and post something Friday afternoon. Maybe a review or it'll be Saturday. Wish me luck. Give this video a thumbs up. 18 holes, I'm knackered. I've got to do something on nutrition because I haven't eaten all day. Well, all round even. I'm starving. Thank you ever so much for watching. Guys, give it a thumbs up. As always, please subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.